we've seen AI, we've seen robotics. The biggest one of all is space, and we're just at the beginning of that journey. We have more and more needs to get space access. The number of customers is increasing worldwide. The market has been uh, shifting uh, quite a lot actually for the last year or so. All very good news for launch service providers as demand is increasing in so many different ways. You can have a thousand satellites sitting on a shop floor, but if you don't actually get them into the right orbit at the right time, it's all a bit useless. At this point, the challenge in the space industry is not on a technological level, but a real challenge is how do you build tens and hundreds of rockets? You have to really design for industrial scalability from day one. And that's what we did at ESAR. What is unique about Spectrum is the fact that we have thought about industrialization and scaling very early on. We have a great manufacturing capability. We have a great space launch ecosystem with test rigs and all the capabilities that belong to it. And so we ended up actually insourcing almost everything, or at this point we own about 90% of the value creation of the entire launch system, which not only allows us to actually scale our production, but it also gives us a lot of independence. The first step is enabling the access to space, and then you are getting a lot of new opportunities. Remember, getting to orbit is the ticket to play. So ESAR's built this whole launch system, which can be basically put any place in the world. Now, if we want to develop a new system or upgrade the current system that we have, we have the capability and the capacity to do so. And when people look into space and into the skies, they don't just see the stars and the planets, but also the potential of, hey, what does space hold for us back here on Earth?